Wam Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Makakwadash. Say double honors to the apostles and the elders that do will be like written stone. Peace and salutation to the Akia Mother pushing his gospel in sincerity and truth. Say Shalom to the humble and sincere sisters out there as well. This is the brother Kalam from the GMS Trial Camp coming back at you with another lesson entitled I Can Do All Things. Right? There are a lot of things that we are limited to, you know, in this fleshly carnal body. You know, there's, only, there's so high that, you know, one could jump or so fast that one could run. Right? This body is limited. You know, and not just on a physical, but also on a mental as well. This body's mental ability is limited, and to prove that, in this flesh, because you know we are spirit, you know we are spiritual entities, but we are spiritual entities that have been placed into physical bodies. You know, a perfect example of um of this would be Avatar. You know, when the the soldiers or whatever they would they would go to sleep and they put their consciousness into the the um the bodies of the Avatar, right? Of the you know the the the, the blue people. You know, I really know the um their name, right? Is is literally that. Is the our spirit, our consciousness, us? We have been placed into these vessels, and it limits our ability. It limits our strength, our wisdom, our everything. But we have someone that could cause us to be limitless, and that someone is Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. It is impossible for us to, to be who we want to be in this flesh. But in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, it shall be possible, it will be possible. This is the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13. It says, I can do all things through Yahweh Hashem, which strengthened me. Right? Now notice it didn't say I could do a few things or some things or specific things. No. All things. Right? So the ability in Yahusha is there. Just for you to tap into it. There's no demon too strong for you. That you can't overcome. Right? You know. A lot of brothers. You know may have. A demon, you know, fighting them on the Sabbath, they forgetting the Sabbath, or brother maybe having a, v a, a demon where he isn't able to produce as much videos as you know he would like, or even something as you know, a, a PORN addiction, right? Brothers unable to, you know, come off of that, 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 um, that loss, you know, that, that addiction. You know, that self-defeating activity. But in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, it is possible to, to right your wrongs. You know, it is possible to set out and accomplish the things that seem too far to hold, too far to reach. You know, so wherever it may be, in the Lord, it is possible. And this is not, these words are faithful and true. This is not a motivational speech. Right? This is not no motivational video. This is life. This is reality. That the Lord in him is limitless ability. And in the Lord, whatever you're struggling to do, you carry it up in prayer over and over again. Morning, noon and night. And apply yourself to it. Through the spirit and power of your Abashim Yoshai you would be able to overcome it and as I said this is these words are faithful and true they don't know no gimmick they don't know no motivational speech to get you fired up 
you know it should get you fired up you know in the spirit but it's not I, if, if the brothers if brothers could understand where i'm trying to come from they don't know motivational speech to watch and get fired up and then forget about it the next day this is this is where it is you right the book of sirach chapter 2 verse 10 it say look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Right? I mean, clear as day. There was none that was confounded. you telling me the Lord part the Red Sea for rebellious people. The Lord fed and gave water to a rebellious people the lord gave the land of canaan to a rebellious people the lord delivered the rebellious people from the hands of pharaoh from egypt right you telling me the lord ain't gonna help you with whatever little small matter you, you know you got going on all right because in comparison to that it's small you know it might be big right it might be something that holding hold back your spirit but in comparison to all the things we see that the lord had done in the generations of old right thy light work for whoever you're going through thy light work for the lord to um set right thy food right in the book of matthew chapter 19 and verse 25 through to 26 it say when his disciples heard it they were exceedingly amazed saying who then can be saved right because previously you know so this was going into the rich man you know he say he kept the laws from his youth up and whatever the cases so then watch it and then saying boy this man here he keep the laws from his youth up and he can't make it who are we? Yes, <laughs> son. Where shall the, un the sinner and the ungodly appear? Who are we? Because if he keeping the laws from youth up, and here it is, we grown and we we failing, we been failing from we youth up, right? And he can't make it. How shall we? And here what the Lord tell them. I'll read back verse 25 when his disciples heard it they were exceedingly amazed saying who then can be saved but the wish I beheld them and said unto them with men this is impossible but with power all things are possible right so you see with men if you was on your own it would be an impossible task you would never be able to accomplish it no matter how long you live and reincarnate for you would never be able to accomplish it he said, but with the Lord, all things are possible. So by yourself, you can't do it. But with the Lord, the cake. Understand? With the strength of the Lord, you could do anything. Right? Literally. You know? Precept here in De Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. It says, be strong and of good courage fear not nor be afraid of them for you have thy power he it is that doeth that doth go with thee he will not fail thee nor forsake thee right so they're watching these armies right they're looking upon you know the land of canaan all the various people and armies within the border and here it is because israel you see israel come like the the, the, the last born of the nations right all the nations were already established whereas we wouldn't like come like you know we know coming out of slavery well not coming like we we are come we were coming out of slavery you understand and all these nations already established and thing and then you know they're watching the armies they're watching themselves and they begin they, you know they had a doubt in their heart and they say what he will not fail thee nor forsake thee so said so done Right? No matter how great or large the army was, Israel conquered them with the spirit of the Heavenly Father. Look at David and Goliath. 
right? Look at David and Goliath. And the Goliath was slain. You understand? Goliath was slain by young David. Right? So it's not about size, it's not about strength or speed, you know. Um, uh, moving away from the for a little bit, just moving away from like you know the demons fighting of the demons, the spiritual demons and things. On a physical, it don't matter how tall, big, strong, fast, knowledgeable, nothing. It don't matter what man is, no matter what status he have. If the spirit of the Lord is upon you, you will conquer that man. You understand? No matter how great the army is, no, no matter nothing. Once the Lord on you, you hey, you invincible. You will be invincible. When you receive immortality, there's nothing that could hurt you, harm you, or kill you. Nothing that could pass stop to you. You understand? Limitless. Right? What what could a mortal do against an immortal? You understand? A being with up absolute power nothing right i would say what we were made to be in the image of the lord so if we gonna be made in his image what could really stop you nothing right once the spirit of the lord is upon you to have no beast right forget man you know because what is man you know that they should die right there's no beast on the earth that could take you you understand the last precept here, the book of Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Right? Fear thou not. Scripture says there is no fear in perfect love, in true love. There is no fear. Right? Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. Right? Don't be heavy hearted. But I am with thee. I will strengthen thee and I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Right? And you need to believe this. Not just believe. You understand? You need more than belief. You need to know this and, and, and you know, for a fact that this is what it is. There's no belief. You understand? They way it is that are unshakable, unmovable faith and know that in times of of, of, of lowliness, of persecution, of, of you know being in that state. Yaba Shemya Ushai, if you call upon him in, in, in wholeheartedly in sincerity, will deliver you from said affliction. And that is not an opinion, that is fact, that is history. That is reality. You understand? And with that, for business to most edifying, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Makakudash. I say Shalom.